Hi, this is Dan with CheapShooter.com, and I'm here today with a Photoshop tutorial that's going to help you simulate the effect of using a polarizing filter. It's one of the downfalls of cheap digital cameras that they don't have a filter mount, uh, making using a polarizing filter impossible. So this is a simple way to uh, simulate the effect it would have had in Photoshop. I have here today an image of the Chicago skyline. Uh, it's a pretty good shot. I like it. I'm happy with uh, the composition, but I'm not happy with the uh, lightness of the sky. I think uh, this image would be a lot more striking if the sky were darker. And that's one of the reasons I would use a polarizing filter in this sort of situation, because a polarizing filter increases uh, the contrast in the sky. I didn't have one on me at the time, so I'm sort of forced to improvise after the fact. Uh, it's very important to note that the sky in this photo isn't blown. Um, there's data for all areas of the sky here. It's just a lighter blue than I would like. If the sky itself is blown, this tutorial is not going to work too well for you, so just keep that in mind. The first thing I'm going to do is make what's called a luminosity selection. and This is a way Photoshop has of automatically detecting the brightest areas of this image, in this case the sky, and making a selection around them. It's a very simple process. Just hit Control. Alt and the tilde, which is the uh, strange key next to the 1 on your keyboard. As you can see, my luminosity selection has been made. I'm going to duplicate the, this selection now and make a new layer out of it. Again, that's pretty easy. Hit Control J. You can see I'm just going to turn layer 1 off here for a minute. This is the luminosity selection that Photoshop has made. It's automatically seen the brightest areas of the image and it's created a new layer out of them. So it's exactly what we want turn layer 1 back on. You're not going to notice any effect here immediately until we change the blending mode of the layer. In order to do that, click on uh, the thing that says normal right now in the layers palette. This is the blending mode selection menu. I'm going to change it to multiply. And you can see immediately our whole sky becomes darker, but parts of the image become darker as well. Um, I like the way the sky looks right now, but the lighting in the buildings looks a little unnatural and sort of um, hazy. So what I'm going to do is create a quick layer mask. Go ahead and select the gray box with the white circle in it at the bottom of the layers palette. I've got it right down here. We're going to click that, and this is going to enable us to restrict the um, multiply effect just to the sky. Make sure your color down here is set to black. And choose a paintbrush, and then just paint over the areas of your foreground. You're not going to paint black on the image, but what this does is it tells Photoshop to mask this area, so the multiply uh, mode won't be applied at all, and it will just look like it did out of camera. Make sure you're using a really soft brush for this, um, in case you need to do check that. The hardness of the brush, just click on the little arrow next to the size of the brush up on uh, the brush menu. Um, because a really soft brush enables you to sort of do this almost messy and uh, not really notice the effect on your final image. So I'm just going to try and paint over as much of the area here as I can, make sure I don't miss much. I'm just doing this very quick. You can kind of check um, down here in your layers palette, it gives you a preview, a real small preview here of what. Um, and the mask looks like. So right now that looks better. Um, I'm going to turn off layer 2 just so you can see how far the image has come. You can see that that sky which was previously a lot lighter now has become darker. This is about um, the effect a polarizing filter would have had. If I want to take it one step further I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate all of layer 2. Just hit OK. And you can see this makes the sky even darker. This is a more striking effect, um, and it gets to the point where it starts to look a bit unnatural. I'm actually happy with this result right now, um, but if you duplicate too much, eventually your sky will look uh, unnaturally dark. But right now this is a lot better image than it was when uh, we first started. I'm going to go up to the history palette here and just take it back to the beginning. You can see just by toggling back and forth how much more striking that sky is and how much cooler of an image it is. And that's what a polarizing filter would have achieved. But luckily it's an easy fix in Photoshop. Uh, until next time, this is Dan from CheapShooter.com and uh, thanks for watching.